Hey guys, it's Mark here and welcome back to Digi Profits. In this particular video, we're going to have a quick look at some price action on Jewel from DeFi Kingdoms. So, finally, we have reached and touched our downtrend line here. We've been on this huge downtrend line ever since um, ever since Crystal Vale. Uh, we had our big pump up to here. We took a little bit of a dip here, but then all of a sudden Bitcoin had a bit of a dump. Um, we started to flatten out, and then we had the um, multiple things happened at once there with the um, with the news about um, uh, coming out about Frisky Fox, which which turned out to be a bit of a storm in a teacup, but it got people quite worried about it, especially when he put it to the vote whether or not he should still be like leading the project and so forth but luckily everyone voted that they wanted him to stay uh, but then there was the also the news about um, people being worried about um, people gaming the system on the unlocking uh, which has since been fixed um, it didn't actually end up that bad but what was bad was that it caused distrust and stuff at the time so there was this big big dip there but then all of a sudden when things got um sorted out it went wait right back up to here and then at that point um we had a bit of a, a bitcoin crash due to um you know like interest rates and stuff like that and then obviously the lunar event bam and then ever since then it's been bleeding against bitcoin on the way down and we have not gotten out of our downtrend line the sharper one we've actually got a few downtrend lines going on if you actually look back over time here um Okay, since the all-time high, we've got the downtrend line here, the larger one, just only, well, if you can call it a downtrend, only three dots in the in the top line, but then there's the um, the other line here we've got that goes all the way, actually extends to the top there where it used it as resistance, and then it hits the line again there, and there, and here on the way down. So that channel there, I'd rather be in that channel further up than the sharpest channel, which is here, but then we've also got this downtrend line there as well, depending on which line you're looking at. Um, and technical analysis on altcoins is always pretty sketchy. That's why we will look at Bitcoin um, and so forth um, when we have a look at this. But what is important, though, is that it gives you some idea about when it's possible that you can be a bit more bullish or not um, and what your targets are. Um, like as we could see this was an obvious fib line level when it hit here um, and it found it as support um, but then now we're hitting this line here and what you'd want to see is us break through here and break through the fib line that would be step one um, but then you're not really out of any out of the woods yet unless we manage to break through this trend line perhaps even break through the um, the moving average as well um, and ultimately uh, you, you really want to break through all three of these lower level trend lines before you might decide okay look this is actually starting to look relatively bullish as long as all of the other factors are going well in the market which they're not at the moment so just something to bear in mind um, but still I'm just finding it interesting that we're hitting this line and I'm fascinated to see what uh, whether we can break through it and whether or not we can get out of at least the sharper downtrend line and we can start trending either if it's going to trend downwards that it trends downwards less less hastily or if it can break through here um, then you never know it could trend sideways a lot um, until we eventually even get through up to this trend line but that was probably more likely at a later later stage that you'd get into this trend line um, and break it uh, I would think that that would take quite a bounce in the overall market for that to happen and that's just not where things are at the moment overall in all of crypto plus we've got the unlocking coming in a few months and I know that a lot of people that are potentially likely to buy are a little less likely to buy because they're concerned about that unlocking so that's um, something to bear in mind as well when it comes to DeFi kingdoms um, also though not to forget the fact that um, we've had a bounce here. Why did it bounce? Um, firstly, we, we know that um, that Bitcoin itself has had a bit of a bounce here. Um, 
I'll explain my, what my little lines mean in a moment, but it's bounced from here to here during this time frame. Um, and the percentage bounce is actually the same. So we haven't actually lost anything against Bitcoin on the bounce. Okay. It's actually broken even roughly around about 23% or something like, like that is the bounce. Like we've bounced from about 16.2 cents up to about 20.3 cents. So uh, what's that? 16, so 20.3 over 16.2. That's It's around about 25% bounce, which is around about what Bitcoin has bounced from to go to, what is it, at 20, 21 I'm not even sure the exact price right the second 21 so it's about 21 200 and it went down to as low as um, what was it 17 uh, about 17 5 okay so 21 to 17 5 so let's work that out um, 21 200 divided by 17 500 um, actually Joel's slightly higher so that's 21% bounce there so slightly higher which hasn't been happening. Generally, these bounces have been lower for Joule and higher for Bitcoin, and then the downs have been lower for Joule and higher for Bitcoin as well. So it's been bleeding against Bitcoin. But overall, all the altcoins, um, overall, all the altcoins, in terms of Bitcoin's dominance, have gone up against Bitcoin during that time. So Bitcoin's dominance of the market has dropped from here to here during the last few days. Okay, I'll spread that out. Last few days, it has gone down, the Bitcoin dominance. So what that means is all the liquidity pools that Joule is in, Joule Avalanche, Joule Phantom, Joule Solana, Joule AVAX, all of those all of those coins that it's in, all those coin pairings, all of those altcoins have gone up against Bitcoin because Bitcoin's dominance is down against those. Uh, perhaps... Some institutional and investors sold Bitcoin, but they didn't happen to hold some of those altcoin positions, something like that. You know, things like that can happen. And then that can cause sometimes the altcoins don't always bleed more than Bitcoin. Often it does due to liquidity pool pairings, but it doesn't always work out that way. So um, as a result, that's why Joule has done all right against Bitcoin. It's not necessarily a lot of people buying Joule outright and people just FOMOing into Joule. It's if Avalanche goes up, if Phantom goes up, if Solana goes up, if all the things that are paired with or whatever the the the, the coin pairings are, I can't even remember if Solana was one of them anyway, but you know, Avalanche, um, Ethereum, if if something is paired with Joule and its liquidity pool, and that altcoin goes up in value, then automatically some of that altcoin gets sold to buy more Joule to balance that liquidity pool. So that's automatic buying of Joule that's going on, okay, with the market going up. Okay, so just to bear that in mind. So now now we, we can have a look at this dominance and go, well, what sort of pattern is it forming? Because at the moment, ever since, you know, January... We have found the dominance has on average been going up. All right, it's been going up on average. So at the moment, um, we've had some peaks way back here in, in um, June of 2021, July 21, October of 2021. These are the Bitcoin dominance <clears throat> peaks, even as far back as May 2021. The same peak if I extend that line across. And we just hit it again, 11th of June. All right, so if we're going to break through that line on the dominance, it's not surprising that it's going to come back down, retest the uh, two. That's the two hundred day moving average, <clears throat> and if it's going to break through into an uptrend in terms of Bitcoin dominance, it's probably going to retest it first and then come back up again. So, it's it's not necessarily that it's um that's going to be a sustained thing that um. The Bitcoin dominance is going to uh, carry on down. And you can also see on the RSI, um, it looks like the bottom of the RSI has been a tiny bit higher every time. Uh, same with the uh, the qualitative quantitative easing, which is similar to the RSI, but it's um, a little bit more accurate. Seems to be um, hitting the bottom at around about a tiny bit higher each time. So... We may even be at the bottom right there, 
or thereabouts. Maybe it'll drop a tiny bit more. Um, I just wouldn't overestimate that unless you broke right through down to here and and hence invalidate the uptrend and it, or even you probably have to break past this level actually the um, the bottom like as an absolute bottom otherwise um, you're not really likely to see altcoins take off into an altcoin season um, at this point um, you know relative to Bitcoin so um, so anyway looking at the overall market just to see where we're at for for Bitcoin itself. Um, at the moment, what we've found is, you know, we're in a downtrend. I'm looking at the four hour graph at the moment. So we're in a downtrend. We're below the, um, this is the, I put up the 200, 200 moving average. It's not, this isn't the 200 week moving average. This is the 200 lots of four hours moving average, if that makes sense. So there's six lots of four hours in a day. So that makes it a 33-day moving average, essentially. So 33-day moving average is what that is. Okay, but it's the it's the 200 rel relative to the four hours. Okay, and the reason for that is it's like, while we're below this line here, um, while we're below that line, while we're below uh, my little um, technical indicator here as well, this uh, this blue indicator, it's a, um, it's a TTA, um, indicator if you're used, um, used to using trading view um, while we're below there as well um, and and with a couple of other elements in play like you, you can tell pretty obviously that you're in a downtrend when you're below it and you can't break through it okay so we're below it we're below it we're in a downtrend we're in a downtrend we're only breakthrough for a little little bit we can't get past the swing high here or at least the, the high that's you know the swing high that, that is above the moving average anyway. We can't get past it. Bam, we're back down. Bam, we're back down. Um, looking promising. Still can't get past here. And bam, we're back down. So we, so we went sideways for a bit. Um, and then we've gone into this, this channel over here. Um, especially since we've been concerned about inflation and all of that sort of stuff. It's um, And, uh, you know, the the cascading liquidations, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, we've, we've been in a little trend down underneath this particular line here. We've touched it, bam, it's almost like an electric shock. We went straight back down again. We, we stayed in our little channel. We almost touched it, and then bam, and then the lunar event as well. Um, and then we went back into our uh, into a channel going straight across. The moment we touch it, we didn't have an immediate shock down. We did here, bang. It, can't break through it, couldn't break through the top trend line either of our little sideways movement, eventually fell through all the way down to here, uh, we had a little bounce, fell further, and that's where we're at at the moment, potentially um, there may be uh, some sideways movement either in that channel there or perhaps in this channel here um, until we hit our, whoops, uh, until we hit our, um, our trend line again. I should probably change that to like that to match this color. Um, that's where it's heading until proven otherwise, because that's the momentum of the market at the moment. Um, and that's sort of in line with the um, S&P 500 as well. Uh, this is on a weekly time frame, so it doesn't look as spread out as my other one on the four hourly, but essentially you know since january we've gone on our way down uh usually we're going to test that 200 week moving average um over there um and at other times we've, we've touched it it's for some reason it's not showing up all the way through to there but it's um it does go through to there so uh chances are we'll at least test it we're probably going to go below it um to be perfectly honest because um, you know, interest rates are going to keep going up and until we get a negative on the inflation, until inflation is showing that it's likely or possibly peaked, so we actually end up with a lower inflation read from the CPI in the US, we're unlikely to start an uptrend or a sideways trend. It's, it'll probably stay as a downtrend until then. Um, but it's not definite because, I mean, you can see we're already totally oversold according to a lot of indicators 
um, but at the moment uh, that's the way it's looking on the macro. So um, with that in mind, if I go back to Bitcoin over here, um, so looking over here, I mean, I, I would say for me, in terms of shorting opportunities, I'll be looking at um, probably, um, I'll be looking to see if we hit here, um, our swing high and we reject it and it bounces down to there, I'll be looking to take out a short um, I'd probably take a stop loss if we go above it up to there uh, but otherwise take profit around around here um, you know before we go through I mean it might go all the way down to here but I would definitely take a profit point here uh, uh, maybe half profits there if we go all the way down to there great if we bounce up to here I'd probably take the rest as profit and leave it at that but that's what I'd be considering from a shorting position I'm not shorting Bitcoin though I'd be shorting altcoins um, I usually just short altcoins because generally they bleed against Bitcoin, although they haven't in this particular moment in time. But um, but I was shorting from about this point here as well, uh, down to about there, or down to 17.6 anyway, um, some of the altcoins. And it's just something to bear in mind. Shorting's not something for everybody, but um, it's something to consider while you're in a macro downtrend and everything's just on its way generally downwards. Not not all the time, but it's, you know, the momentum is generally downwards at the moment. So it's just something to consider. Um, okay, so anyway, um, when it comes to DeFi Kingdoms, you've also got duels that have come out as well. There hasn't been loads and loads of games gone on but there has I mean there has been when I say there hasn't been loads there's been about 50,000 games have gone on but uh, 50,000 isn't like relatively isn't for a game that only lasts a few minutes it's not relatively a lot yet but at least it's something um, so I'm glad to see that it's out I do have another video the one I recorded before this one where uh, me and my actually my oldest two sons I've got four kids um three boys and a girl my oldest two um are playing duels on DeFi kingdoms and they um helped me record that video so you can get to see them teach you guys how to play duels if you're interested that was in the the previous video to this one um and obviously that's um that's handy that that's taking place because that's at least given a little bit more functionality for dual for, for, for the dual token um and for gold and so forth and obviously we've got must have the ticket master to come and stuff like that and um, there's obviously there's um, quests that will eventually come to Crystal Vale that should be helpful as well um, with Jewel being used as the gas token uh, not to forget that creates way more use cases for the heroes and so forth um, and perhaps reason for people to be in the Jewel X Jewel or the Jewel Crystal pulls over there and hence purchase more jewel for that uh, but obviously conversely we've got the macro downtrend and the unlocking um, bearing down on us so I'd love to see a really decent plan from the team come out all about the unlocking and that would certainly be very very helpful um, so overall it's a time to be very very cautious in the market um, I thought it's useful to have the update at this point in time because that's where we're hitting and it's going to be really interesting to see where things are. Do we bounce off it again as resistance or is this the time we break through this um, and what's going to happen when we hit the other two lines as well or the fib line? Um, so that all remains to be seen. Okay, so if you like this video, if you're liking the content, please like the video. Please comment on it please subscribe to the channel it's all really really helpful it not only provides me with helpful feedback that the content's useful it's also great obviously for the algorithms and so forth um, in terms of uh, getting this channel off the ground and uh, it motivates me to make more and more of these kinds of videos I have been asked yes I will be covering other make money online topics I mean I've been 23 years making money on the internet doing all sorts of things from kindle to email marketing to uh, drop shipping physical products uh, to uh, making and selling my own info products membership sites um, 
you know, YouTube channels. I've got Diabetes Smarts YouTube channel, uh, many others as well that are have got a lot more subscribers than this one. Um, and uh, been doing a, a lot of other different things over the years that I've got a lot of expertise I can and will be sharing with you guys. I've just been a bit mindful in the short term while starting the channel of talking about too many different things at once. So I've been sort of keeping things a bit more centric, just starting off with the, the crypto, the DeFi kingdom, stuff like that, um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, but then um, I'll probably branch out across the whole range of digi profits. There's so many ways to make a digital um, profits online. Uh, even, even my own sister, who is a dentist, uh, she makes quite a lot of money just also on the side, just doing, um, earning, um, how do I say it? She writes articles on Upwork and gets gets paid over $50 an hour there. I think it's 75 an hour she's earning there. So like, you know, on the side. Uh, and that's just another example. So there's a lot more stuff I, I can and will be covering. Uh, so look out for that soon as well. All right. Um, so that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now, everybody.